Why don't we take a look at television now? A year and a half ago, we announced our partnership with Google to build the world's first Android TV. Our vision was that just as smartphones has revolutionized the way we do mobile computing and communicate, that smart TVs would also revolutionize the way we enjoy entertainment at home. That with a powerful computer connected to a cloud store, able to run applications, that we would be able to realize this new revolution in how we enjoy content at home. We call that Shield, and it was the world's first Android TV console. And it was built by NVIDIA, of course. You would expect the performance to be incredibly good. Users all over the world have been absolutely delighted by it. We've continued to refine it and support it and enhance it. The number of applications is growing. The performance keeps getting richer. Today, we're announcing a major upgrade to Shield. Ladies and gentlemen, the new Shield. <clears throat> The new, shield, the new Shield is amazing on so many different fronts. But the most important thing, the first thing that you get hit by, it is that it's the world's first entertainment platform that is full 4K and HDR. Netflix and Amazon worked closely with our engineers, and we're announcing that Shield will be the first entertainment platform that is able to enjoy Netflix and Amazon's library of content in 4K HDR. We have 4K services from YouTube. We have 4K services from Google Play. We know that they're all tens of millions of PC gamers around the world, and they have, game, they have GeForce Gaming, and they would like to take that GeForce Gaming PC and connect, it, connect their Steam service to our television. We worked with Valve, and we're making available for the very first time a Steam app on Android Play, a Steam app on Shield that connects to your PC and you can enjoy 4K HDR gaming on your TV while it's playing on your PC. And if you would like to have access to even more games, we now have a thousand games in the NVIDIA Shield game store. This is just an incredible amount of content. 4K HDR, you could stream content from your PC through Valve Steam, and you could, of course, enjoy great games on the NVIDIA Store, 4K HDR. But we didn't stop there. The two most popular consumer electronics platforms today, one is the smart television, products like Apple TV and The Shield, but the other is the Amazon Echo. It brings AI into your home, allows you to communicate naturally with an AI assistant. We thought, why have two devices when you can have one? And so we decided to work with, my, work with Google to create the world's first Android TV with the Google Assistant. Now your television, now your television, now your television, which is the largest screen in your house, can be controlled through natural language. You can control your content, you can access your content, seek content, find content, play it, stop it, fast forward it, look for photographs, ask it questions. You could even control your home. But we didn't stop there. We felt that if you had a Google Assistant and you had an AI agent in your home, it seems to me that you would want to have it all over your home. That you shouldn't want to have to lean over to the coffee table and yell commands at it all the time. Wouldn't it be nice if your AI was completely ambient and you're just talking naturally and there are all kinds of many spots around the house where you could ask your AI agent to help you do things, maybe call an Uber, maybe make coffee, maybe turn on some music, ask it about the weather. So we decided to create a peripheral for Shield. 
And this is an AI microphone, and this AI mic could be anywhere in the house. And there's this little tiny thing, I'd love to show you to, to you now, announcing the NVIDIA Spy. Hi, how can I help? This little tiny device plugs directly into the wall. And because the computing is done on shield, we could have a whole bunch of these all over the house. And this little tiny microphone has far field processing, has echo cancellation, so it picks up your speech relatively naturally, 20 feet away. And if you have multiple of these devices in a large room, it also does triangulation of where you are using beamforming. It figures out, based on the different arrival times of your voice, subtle arrival times of your voice, and it's able to triangulate where you are in the, in the room, who's talking, and with beamforming, focus the energy of the beam, of the antennas, to the person who's actually talking. You could have all of these devices all over the house, and they all go through one shield over Wi-Fi. Incredible, incredible capability. Brand new NVIDIA spot. So we made a short little video to help you understand how we imagine people using the Google Assistant and the NVIDIA spot in your home. Let's play it. OK, Google, start my day. OK, I'm turning up your thermostat and brewing you a fresh pot of coffee. OK, Google, play the news. Pending home sales dropped in November to the lowest level in almost a year. OK, Google, I'm leaving. Shutting down your house. Have a great day. OK, Google, show me some popular TV shows. Just drama. Only recent ones. Play trailer from Stranger Things. You're in trouble. Hey, that looks like your grandma's house. Kind of. OK, Google, show pictures of Grandma Mary's house. See what I say. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Do you want to watch it? Yeah, yeah, let's watch it. OK, Google, play Stranger Things on Netflix. What do you guys think? The combination of a smart TV and an AI assistant in your home that is completely ambient completely changes how we interact with our house. I think in the future, our AI, our house is going to become an AI. And increasingly, the vision of Jarvis is going to be realized. And whereas, whereas Mark Zuckerberg at Facebook has incredible programming skills, and he could take his year to build Jarvis for his home, I've decided that we should build it for all of you. And so today, today with Shield, with the new Shield, with the NVIDIA Spot, the Google Assistant, and the integration with the SmartThings Hub that connects to hundreds of consumer electronics devices, smart plugs, coffee makers, garage doors, locks, thermostats, smart cameras. We can now integrate all of those consumer electronics devices and all of the exciting ones that will be announced this year into the Shield experience and all controlled by Google Assistant. So ladies and gentlemen, the brand new Shield for $199. <clears throat> The NVIDIA spot will be available as a separate peripheral, and we'll announce it in the coming months.